something that I hear way more often than I should from men is I don't get enough compliments from women or I don't hear enough nice things about myself from from women and I don't think they really understand just how often other women they talk to in their lives actually think very nice things about them in their heads. Those things just don't make it out of their lips, and there are many, many reasons for that, and a lot of men don't think about those reasons. They, they don't care about those reasons. They just, they, they, they hear a lack, a dearth of compliments, and it's a problem that, that society needs to fix, that women need to fix. It's really actually a problem that other men need to fix, because it's other men spreading their toxicity and objectifying women and being misogynist that make women a lot less likely to be forward and open with their compliments. It's, it's just, I say this a lot, but that's just the way it is. They're probably thinking a lot of nice things about you, but they're just afraid to say them because for all they know, you're going to see that as an open invitation to ask for sex, or to ask for a date, or to be propositioned in some way. I remember when I was in high school, when I was in high school, I had female friends who would tell me that they would get all these messages on MySpace, yeah, the MySpace days, all these messages on MySpace from people at school, and, and they'd get asked out on dates and and propositioned all the time, and, and at one point in my life, when I was very, very young, I was like, wow. I wish I had that problem. All these people wanting to sleep with me. I wish I had that problem. No, you don't. There is a real quality over quantity issue here. Um, ask ask a woman next next time you you see one, whether it's your mom or your friend or whatever. Ask them how many times in their lives they felt uncomfortable in a situation where a man was, you know complimenting them or, or, or propositioning them, and it turned out to be just utterly execrable, turned out to be just so gross and creepy, that whole exchange probably started with a compliment. And then it just went from there, you know? It turned into this really uncomfortable experience for that woman and removed all doubt in their minds that this man was just trying to get them in bed. And unfortunately, that's what happens a lot. And if you're upset with yourself, don't be, unless, you know, you, you are one of these men. If you're upset with women, don't be. Be upset with all of the other men out there, the, the, the Andrew Tates of the world, or the people, the wannabe Andrew Tates, the pickup artists, or, or just the ones who feel like they're, they're owed something for complimenting women, or who feel like they're owed something from society because... Well, okay, it's my role in this universe to make babies, and these women don't want to talk to me, so, you know, you're, you're teetering dangerously close to incel territory. Um, if, if it's a blow to your self-esteem that you're not getting enough compliments, or that you're not hearing enough nice things from women, maybe that's a time for you to turn inward. Maybe think about the things about yourself that make you not so desirable, or even more importantly, come to some kind of realization that you don't need compliments to feel like you're worthy of being treated like a human being. You don't need the approval and the approbation and the, hey, nice teeth, nice hair, nice eyes, nice this and that. You don't need these things to be a human being that's worthy of respect and dignity, love, all of those things. If you give love, if you give respect, if you are a nice person and you have a decent heart, then you should already know, or I hope at one point in time you come to the realization that all of these nice things that you see other men getting, they'll come to you. And you're probably already getting them. You're not being treated like shit. You're not being treated like an object. Like a lot of these women, you're not being treated like a piece of meat to be thrown around. You're not being treated like a conquest. And there will be people out there who have never been married, who have never been in relationships, who will see this and say, but this is all so easy for you to say. You've been in relationships. You've been married. So what? 
Uh, really, so what? What, what? what does that matter? What is that supposed to fix? Let me tell you something. If you are the kind of person who needs these compliments or who wants them so badly, and you think marriage is going to solve the problems that make you need these compliments so much, ooh, let me tell you, when you get lied to, when you get cheated on, when you get deceived, when you get misled, or when any problem arises within your relationship or your marriage, it's going to hit you twice as hard because you thought that this was going to fix everything. Loneliness is gone. I'm, I'm, I'm getting compliments. And whenever I need to feel good about myself, I can go to this, this person. And I, let me tell you, okay? In, in, in the five, five or so years I was married, there were moments where I had never felt lonelier ever in my life before. In 33 years of life, these five years that I spent married, there were so many times where I felt so lonely, so forgotten, so unappreciated, you know? And I think a lot of why I took it so hard, it's not just because I expected that being in a marriage, I would never have to feel these sorts of things, but I didn't take enough time to be happy with myself. When I found myself in these in exceptionally lonely circumstances, there are things I could have done to make myself feel better, to accept that this is just the way it's going to be. And I didn't do any of those things. And it hit me so much harder, and it will hit you so much harder if if, if you think that a relationship is like, you know, the holy grail of, of, of never encountering any of these issues that you encounter because maybe you haven't done the work on yourself. And maybe you haven't done enough work to inform your fellow man that maybe treating women the way that they do is not very conducive to getting them to open up to you. I'll end this video with one more nugget of wisdom that I have obtained over the years in so many relationships and all this, this, this crap that so many people think that they, that, that is going to change their lives so much, but in the end, it just makes your life worse. Um, you just look really pathetic when you go on the internet or any, anywhere. And you start talking about how few compliments you receive or, or how, how, how women don't say nice things about men. That, that just makes you look like a loser, to be quite honest. It, it makes you look like a loser when you complain about these things. And it should come as no surprise if you've got women in your life who see these things or who hear these things from you. And they're like, well, hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna, oh, oh boy, yeah, not this again. This again? Oh, God, no, no, I, 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 I can't handle this. No, no, thanks, but no thanks. Have a good day, folks.